Hello, I'm Volker Blasek and I want to give you a short introduction in the SAP Activity and Alfresco environment, how you can connect these systems. First of all, we have to see that we have SAP as the structured leading system with all the metadata that you might need in your business process. Doing the business process in the flexible activity BPM environment um, with a great user experience uh, is, I think, a good combination to bring these two worlds together on this side and also to have Alfresco integrated in this process as you typically have documents in these business processes that can be managed in Alfresco and that also can be linked to SAP via Connexus. This is our product that is certified by SAP and also certified by Alfresco. Now technically um, the integration looks a little bit uh, complex, but it isn't because at the end we have again the same um, information here. How can we get information in the workflow in activity that might be based on the SAP side? So we have a RFC call there and connect to the SAP system here via additional or different gateways and call the function module in SAP to get metadata from the business object. So this is one part so that we have the metadata available on the uh, workflow side. Of course we can also go the other way around. If we have metadata available on the activity side we can also push to SAP. And in addition we store documents that belong to the workflow and activity in Alfresco. We also have the metadata available on the Alfresco site. And this document and metadata can be pushed forward to SAP for the documents. We use the certified um, product Connexus and the HTTP content server 6.40 on the SAP site to connect via archive link, typically also DMS, to the business object in SAP. With Frame Access, just to mention this also, we have the chance to retrieve additional metadata besides the standard metadata that we already uh, replicate by Connexus like the object type. Let me give you with a short demo um, an overview of how the process can look like. In our demo we want to enter a cost center that is based on SAP data, store a document and also start a workflow at the end in SAP and attach the document to a SAP business object. Now how do we start the process? In activity we can start our process by choosing here our cost center demo. In this case we have to choose first the company code which we take the IDES AG and this information is already coming here from the SAP side so when you hit the pull down field we give the uh, or we take some information from SAP and hand over to the end user. We have also to type in the name of the user because uh, the the cost center is be chosen in SAP by the company code and the name that is connected to this company code. We can select here a file uh, that should be stored also and we take here any PDF so it's an, an invoice and we want to later on store this one. So we are done. We have some SAP based metadata. We told um, the workflow what should happen uh, to which should name this uh, company code is connected and we attach the document. So we start the process. Now we check the tasks. So I send it to myself and we have here the cost center task. Meaning now I received this work item and based on the metadata that we started the workflow we take some decision from SAP side and ask which cost centers are available for this company code and this name. And here in our case, let's take 
uh, yeah, let's take a quality, quality assurance. So we can choose here the cost center, which is based on really SAP data. We see here our attached document. And I'm also asked, do I want to publish this document that we attach to this workflow to Alfresco? I say yes, because we want to store this document to Alfresco and we also want to start an SAP workflow. So based on our activity workflow, now we will start a workflow in SAP. And by the way, also handle the document in Alfresco. So we are completed here on the activity side. Now let's see what has happened in the background on the Alfresco side with our document. In Alfresco, we store the document from activity uh, in a special area. So we have a site where we store the documents and it's here in the start workflow. So this is exactly the document that we stored right now. And you see here when you check the details that we have, for example, our cost center attached to this document. We have more metadata available if we uh, check the document in uh, Alfresco. So we get the preview of the document and also the metadata that is available right now during the process that we collected in activity and we added some SAP specific metadata in the background. So I will send this case to myself in SAP and we start this workflow in SAP as we have seen before. Now on the SAP side we received a work item, which we can check here in our inbox on the SAP site. So we have here a work item received. We attached the document, we can always display here, or we simply execute the work item here in SAP. So it happens that automatically the document is displayed by the SAP document viewer. So again, we are completely integrated on the SAP world now and we can execute the work item on the SAP side. I'm asked here to choose the invoice that should this document be attached to. So this is just an easy work item. SAP asked me if this is the correct um, financial document and say I can confirm and that's it. So we executed this very small work item on the SAP side, it disappears from my inbox and we simply attached to an invoice on the SAP side. Now, just that we can also see what is the result, we can now check um, this document here inside SAP. This is an invoice in SAP and we are integrated here in the services for object. So here we can check now the attachment list that is available for this invoice and we see that this is exactly the document that we stored right now. We can double click and display the document direct here on the um, SAP site. So again we are completely integrated here in SAP. But last not least I want to show you what happened on the Alfresco site. So when we are in Alfresco and we check this document again here in our start workflow, we will find that the document has been disappeared on the Alfresco site. Why? Because we have this document uh, stored to this folder, but we did not only forward information to SAP, so to start the workflow in SAP, we also got some information back when we connected to the invoice in SAP, this information is also interesting for the document in Alfresco. So we replicated some metadata of this invoice. And based on this replicated metadata, we build a small in, uh, folder structure. Here in our case, we have uh, the content repository and then the different types of um, SAP objects. So we go here for the invoices. And when you check here the invoices, we see this is already the um, invoice number that we have seen right now. And it has been just uh, created by the system. And this is exactly the folder that we have created for this invoice. So this is the invoice that we attached. And we see it is connected to SAP. And 
of course also we can see here some more metadata for this uh, PDF document that we connected to SAP. So we change the, the location based on metadata that we replicated and just seeing here you see this is the metadata that we also got from SAP like the document type in SAP, the invoice number, fiscal year. So we get a lot of more information um, in Alfresco also. So you have one single source of truth in Alfresco. Now coming back here to our uh, presentation, I hope I could show you how we can integrate SAP metadata in the activity workflow to integrate documents, store the documents uh, in Alfresco and also integrate these documents with SAP, start a workflow in SAP, forward information to SAP and vice versa, get information back to Alfresco. So we are really integrated in all um, directions bidirectional and if you need more information feel free to visit our website on connexus.eu or simply get in contact with me.